Hello one and all, I am Pal of Games and today I've got the GoGoGo -Go -Go deck profile for you guys. I know this is one uh, some of you wanted to see, so I thought I'd uh, throw it together. Uh, starting off we've got a BLS, uh, pretty self-explanatory, it works quite well with the deck. Uh, the next card to go over is GoGoGo -Go -Go Gorum, three of them. Three Giant, three Ghost, three Golem, three Zombie Master, two Mizuki, three Star Drawing, two Summon a Monk, and to effect Vila. As for spells, we've got three Book of Life, three Double Summon, one Dark Hole, and one Foolish. And for traps, we've got six cents, two Dimensional Prisons, one Compulsory, and three Call of Hauntings. So to go over my choices, uh, basically, BLS is there for the fact that it's BLS. Uh, Go Go Gorum, it's a nice card I've found, uh, I've been testing with it quite a lot, and it's worth playing just based on what it potentially can do. Uh, as for, and it's also, it's nice that you can have that selective foolish where it's another card like Laval what can uh, help bring the deck a bit quicker into play. But it's all about getting that initial graveyard of Go Golem and Ghost. Once you've done that, it's so easy to pull off so many combos. Moving on, we've got Giant, which is a card which acts sort of like a monster reborn for go -Go Go's, where it can bring back a go, -Go, -Go. So you could go, say, the biggest combo I use is going to Ghost, Ghost brings back Golem, and you've got two free monsters, and uh, you're set up for an XYZ play, which can be uh, quite advantageous uh, early game, or even late, to be honest. It all depends on uh, the opponent's field. Uh, moving on, we've got three golems, which is what the deck's all about, bringing out that golem play. Because he's he basically acts as a free card throughout the game once he's in the graveyard. And we've got Zombie Master. He works well because a ghost is a zombie, and by uh, bringing him back, you can then manipulate his effect again to bring out golem. That's what the deck's all about, manipulating it so that you can keep bringing out ghost and bringing out a golem. Uh, moving on, we've got two Mizuki. He does the same thing as Zombie Master, but doesn't require Monster in the Grave to do so. Uh, free Star Drawing. I like the draw power of it. I'm a big fan of Star Drawing. I've got to be honest, in quite a lot of decks. And uh, I find it works quite well with the deck in terms of some extra XYZ plays. Uh, two Summon a Monk. I like this card. It allows me to uh, get out uh, Golem if it isn't in my hand. And uh, I'm needing it to uh, start the combos off. Uh, additionally, if I haven't got Ghost, I can do the same thing. Uh, two Effect Veilers, pretty self-explanatory there, you know, they're, they're really helpful. As i shown in my last game, actually, with the Tanuka, so that, that helped so much uh, at the end of the game where I nearly uh, could have been in some big trouble there. And it's also nice for BLS to be able to get a quick light in the grave. Uh, free Book of Life, this works again to uh, help bring Ghost to the, from the grave to the field to use its effect. As well as that, it's got a nice bit of removal, which is helpful in this format, I feel, with Light Swarm Ring Rampant. And uh, also Dragons, I suppose, in some respects. Uh, double Summon, running three of them. It's nice to get that quick open play, so you've opened up with a Ghost and a Golem. You're going to want, they're sort of cloggy in your hand, and you're going to want to try and get them to the field. I've had many games where they've ended up a bit clogged up in the hand, and it's really helped to have that Double Summon to get it going. As well as that, it's a nice target for someone in Monk, if it is redundant. Uh, moving on, one Dark Hole, pretty self-explanatory. As is Foolish, it's there to bring one of these to the grave. Or Mizuki, if you're not requiring one. Uh, six Sense, it's so OP, you're going to see it played so much. Not only is it nice to have that mill potential, but also, uh, it, obviously, if you get the draw power off, it's so immensely uh, overpowered, it's unbelievable. Uh, two dimensionals, pretty self-explanatory. One can pulse, pretty self-explanatory. And three calls, which are there once again to uh, manipulate Ghost's effect. That's what the whole deck is based around. As for XYZs, I run one vial on De Sigma, as I've mentioned. Go uh, Giant has that effect to bring back Ghost to bring out Golem. And you've got three set monsters set or ready to go for you to Sigma play. Uh, one Photon Paleo Perorative. The Lure. Wow. Uh, I would say he, he he's pretty self-explanatory, he's really helpful in some positions when you're versing say a stall deck or some really weird sort of deck, because you all come across them. Black Sheep of Corn, I find him really helpful, he helps so much in that Tanukit game as you saw. Uh, Diamond Direwolf, pretty self-explanatory, yeah, as is with two Noble Swarm Bells of Booths, they are so overpowered, it's unbelievable. 
uh, one maestro, pretty self-explanatory. The larvals, as I've said, they're another way of bringing them to monsters you need to the grave in the grave. Uh, one digusto, so you can recycle some of the stuff you want in the deck. For instance, say BLS or summoner monks or effect veilers. Uh, one abyss dweller, uh, he's really helpful against uh, e dragons and such. Uh, free Gargo -ga -ga Cowboy, uh, I just find him really helpful, especially in this sort of deck where you're able to bring out potentially two in one turn, you know, and you need that quick finish. So I'm going to go over some side choices as well as a card what uh, we received recently, which is kind of interesting, which is uh, Onomata Wopia, uh, but it's Onomata Pair, as uh, we're seeing it. Uh, I find it interesting. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm going to try and get it to combo well with either Gaga Gars or Dodo Dos. I'm thinking of trying to get a nice deck going with them because Zubal Bars are just not a thing at the moment. But I will look into them. And uh, other than that, uh, free Prohibition, uh, free Zombie World, free Imperial Iron Wall, and free Light Imprisoning Mirror. Pretty solid side choices, I believe. I couldn't think of better ones at the time. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Like if you've liked it. Let me know any changes you would make in the comments or as 3 p.m. And other than that, thanks for watching and goodbye.